maybe this is why scientists, as much as they might try, they can't pinpoint exactly where consciousness is because it's not a physical phenomenon. It is a metaphysical phenomenon. It is beyond. And so, but in quantum physics, one of the um, main principles of it is something called the observer effect, that whenever we observe the particle and its state of being, that is when it actually manifests into that state of being. Prior to that point of observation, prior to taking an exact measurement, it could be in many possible states of being, infinite possibilities there in the quantum field. So the observer effect is that a conscious and aware being needs to become aware of that state of that particle or whatever it is that we're experimenting on. And until a conscious and aware being becomes aware of that measurement, it's in a quantum superposition. It's in a quantum infinite possibility kind of state of being. So consciousness is the key that relates to this observer effect. Um, and what it has to do with is our choices, right? The conscious observer chooses how they're going to observe a certain state of being. They have their biases, maybe. They have their assumptions. And based on those filters, they then set up their perception. They set up their experiment according to those assumptions. And then that determines what they're going to get out of it. So our choices really matter when it comes to this observer effect and this key of consciousness. Um, but what I would say is that consciousness is more primary here. Consciousness is what initiates a manifestation out of that quantum field.